Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is an uh, unboxing of my two Kaimito that I purchased from Tropical West Garden. It's in Puerto Rico. I've been wanting to get my hand on a couple of them. I actually did get a couple last year, but they died through that cold frost that we had. Um, so I decided to purchase two more. There should be a purple variety and a white variety in here. The shipping came really fast. Um, they're very responsive. Uh, I purchased this on Etsy. I found them on Etsy and I bought them last year and I was happy with them. So this year I'm going to try them again. Now there were a couple shops or nursery in the U.S. that I could have purchased them from. But I felt like the price was a little bit too high and then shipment in the, the post office shipping cost was way more. So on Etsy, most of them in the nursery in Puerto Rico, for some reason, shipping is free. So the plant itself, basically, I just had to purchase the plant. So I'm going to unwrap them and see what we got. All right. Looking very healthy. I've got a couple of leaves that eh, might be a little bit bent, but otherwise it's very happy. Now I did get a purple variety and a white variety Kaimito. I don't know the actual name of them uh, on Etsy. It just came purple and white. So it looks like they wrapped it to the box so it didn't have too much movement. So here is the grafted purple. Kaimito looks very healthy. Feels a little bit cold. It was just delivered today uh, by the post office, so we had to go get it at the front entrance. But basically, it just came wrapped up like this. It looks like it has newspaper clipping, and then I'm pretty sure the soil's in here. So this is supposed to be a grafted variety. I wanted a grafted variety because uh, Kaimito, if you grow from seed, it takes five to ten years to fruit. So if you get one that's grafted, what you hope is that um, they would graft it from a mature tree and then that's what's going to grow and produce therefore giving you fruit a lot faster than if you grow it by seed. Now I've had success with seeds and of course they all died back last year when we had that freeze. So basically everything tropical I had last year has completely died back. I'm just waiting until the weather gets a little bit warmer to see what actually survived through the root system. But this is the purple variety. It looks very healthy. I'm very pleased with it. I don't know if it can actually stand up by itself, so. And then this is the white grafted variety. You can see not a lot of damage to the leaf, so the packaging was very well preserved by the uh, company. And it looks like I've got quite a variety of leaves on here. What I would like to see is actually where the graft point is and see how healthy the graft point is and you hope that it survived because if it doesn't then we're going to have a little bit of an issue but the plant itself looks healthy. Now you can buy from their shop they have some that is grown from seed it is a little bit more uh, less expensive than the grafted variety this one I believe were $65 a piece uh, the seed, seedling ones you can get for about $30 to $40, so uh, given the time that it would take to produce, I could actually get the fruit and then produce my own seed much quicker this way than if I were to grab, get the smaller seedling, sorry I'm using the knife, and then waiting for it to fruit and then after that do my own seed, seedling, that would take a lot longer, so yes, definitely recommend um, this nursery. West Tropical Garden from Puerto Rico. Thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you in the next video.